Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Living in Myrtle Loop. My name is Brian Howard, your host of the show. And today, guess where I am? I'm at Glowfish with the owner of Glowfish, Yemma, and his general manager, Yemi. Lodi, L-O-D-I, Sorry, folks. And um, so, uh, Loop has been a long time establishment in our community, in uh, Martelouk. I, I thought it was here forever, mm -hmm. but it's apparently established in 2007, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. And you've been here since since the beginning. Mm -hmm. You've been, uh, Yama's yeah, been working at Globe yeah. Fish since 2007, since the beginning, I think, mm -hmm. and yeah. took ownership in 2017. Yeah, 2017, yeah. And Lodi has been general manager with the organization since 2009. So we love having you here in the community. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what you what brought you. Uh, you had a restaurant first in Japan, and then you went to Vancouver, yes. and then came to Calgary in 2007. Mm -hmm. Did you help start up Glowfish? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's great. And so, how did Glowfish come to be in Murder Room? How did it come no, to I be? Mean, we just take over the Glowfish, mm -hmm. the franchise, yeah. and then because now they hired the owners. And then he's the general manager. He used to be in a restaurant, which is local. Yeah. They worked together in Vancouver, and then moved to Calgary in like 2007. Yeah, exactly. And then, yeah, during the time like he's getting fired, the owner. Yeah. He took over the restaurant, so that's why we started like doing a business with him. Excellent. He used to be a general manager. I mean, manager in his location too. Okay. So he hired me as a manager in Marlowe, so excellent. And we lived that place for a long time too. So, and so what do you find like what do you like about being in Marlowe and what do your customers like about you guys? Mm. What's your idea like having customers? Because uh, we have regular customers here. What do you think the regulars enjoy about the restaurant? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the best um, uh, description for that one is the quality of the food. Quality of the food. And every time we make, it's within our hearts, right? Yeah. So we don't just make like for money. Mm -hmm. So we do like everything we our knowledge put in that food. So before giving to the customer, that's why they keep coming back. That's yeah. Great. Yeah. And also that the when the, our customer was already the, together with the ten years or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, every year. I'm so grown, grown up. Grown really? Up. Yeah. yeah. We grown up so that keep together with that. Yeah, we treat we treat them yeah. like a family. It's like a family, family. Yeah, so, like that. Great. Yeah. So it's the first time it is a very small ten years old thing mm -hmm. that they grown up and yeah. they come down to the Yeah. Cool. So here we are at the end of November or middle of November. We just had more restrictions with COVID. Mm -hmm. so, is there anything exciting going on in your business? Or anything that the viewers might want to know about? How can we help you? How do people reach out? What's the best way? I mean, our concern is about safety of everyone, right? During mm -hmm. pandemic. So that's why we follow the restrictions for the from the city of the government. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, yeah, they have the government yeah. and the Alberta government. Yeah. And then every time they have our rules, we just follow it, mm -hmm. like uh, isolate two by two. I mean. Yeah, it's just a, it a social distance. Yeah. 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 And, and even this guy, we installed this one for the safety of uh, the tables. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's been impacted in all the business right now. Because uh, supposedly it's kind of full, full house at the time. Right. But um, this time of was pandemic, we right. just um, regulate our customers. Your numbers, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're, are you doing a lot more uh, delivery? Is that happening? Is your business increasing the delivery? Yeah, delivery is a use for the Uber Eats. Uber Eats, mm -hmm. yeah. We supposedly not doing the delivery for this time, but during pandemic, we need a little bit of service to cover up some expenses. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why we got a Uber Eats all okay. down. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. And what's the best way for people to book, book or make a reservation or book online? I guess for Glowfish.com is it? Yeah, the best uh, for them is just to call and then book for an appointment. Just to call. Okay, great. And uh, are you on Instagram? How do people follow along? Uh, Instagram. <laughs> I'll put a note at the show notes, okay? 
Now, I think we just followed you back up yeah. there. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, great. Well, folks, thanks for being on the show. Um, it's been a real pleasure to get to know you, Rodi and Yama. And we wish you all the best in this, you know, challenging time and for many, many more years in Mother Yes, yeah. Okay, thanks thank you very so much. much. Hi, now. <laughs>